Hi, I'm Shannon Hoover. I'm uh, one of the co-founders as well as the technology evangelist for Make Fashion. There's two aspects about wearable technology that I find really exciting. One is um, from the perspective of storytelling. Fashion at its core is about expressing who you are to the world around you, to the people that you interact with and to the public. It's about putting something on that tells the story of, of who you are. And wearable technology allows you to do that in a much more individualistic way, in a way that, that expresses more about you than you can do in any other way. The other aspect that I find really interesting is about augmenting the human experience. So using technology to gather information about you and about your environment and feeding that back to you in a way that is meaningful. My name is Maria Hoover and I'm the event director and co-founder at Make Fashion. Make Fashion designers have been invited to showcase their garments around the world to events such as Make It For Shenzhen, Make It For Rome, Make It For San Mateo. And we have connected and met quite a few designers from London from the Netherlands, from New York, and it's really exciting to see how Calgary is taking an innovative step in wearable technology fashion. My name is Katherine Hazen. I'm the Artistic Director for Make Fashion. I think what excites me the most about Make Fashion is the performance element, the talent. Our shows are very different than others because of our team. A combination of 42 fashion designers, 30 models, and 14 professional hair and makeup artists. Many of our models are also actors or dancers, so we embrace their talents. The catwalk performances are planned for weeks and they're rehearsed, and together with the designers, we're able to tell a story about wearable technology. Chelsea Klukas, one of the co-founders and the marketing director for Make Fashion. Make Fashion is different in that we're design driven. We put the fashion designers, the artists, and the creators, and pair them with engineers and makers, but we really lead with design and that idea of creating something that's beautiful and intriguing and has an accessibility and a human factor to it. Rather than some wearable technology like maybe Google Glass or some of the watches that are coming out, we really focus on what do people want to use and what's going to be fashionable and beautiful and relevant in our current world. If you look at big brands like Apple, they're really leading with design. They're first looking at how do we make a beautiful product that people are going to use and then the technology comes after that. When we had one of our first designer meetings three years ago, I remember showing slides to these artists, fashion designers, makers, who had never really worked with technology before, and we started to show them some of the technology that was accessible to them that they could start using in their work. I just remember the whole room lighting up and people saying, wow, I can do that? Really? I'm going to be able to work with someone who can help me do this? It was a really great moment where all of these designers and creatives who might have never worked with technology became introduced to it and we paired them with people who could help them make their dreams come true. Now three years later, some of those artists who had never even touched technology before are starting their own brands and touring the world with their make fashion pieces. Mm -hmm. 